Welcome everyone to the very special episode where we are finally starting a war against Chimney. You guys all know this war was coming. I knew this war was coming. It's time to be here. So, off the bat, we already have our controlled ships right over here. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is have them just go around and go sink whatever German army might come up. Because really, I don't believe the Germans have enough uh, naval superiority to beat me in the Navy. Pretty much, Navy-wise, I don't think we have much worry. Now, Army-wise is where we will have to have a worry. Because the Germans have an insanely big army. And so we're going to have to be really worried about that. And with the whole two Sicilies deal, what I've basically come up with is that I'm going to attack South Africa. For a really petty reason, I don't know why, but we're going to do that. So next time I can influence them is going to be when. Because we have to make sure we get these guys in as quickly as possible. Uh, increase relations, 25th of March. And that should finish it off, actually. Wow, it should finish it off. Okay. And because we are going to be fighting a really big war, by the way, I should do the whistle tour. Whistle tour and the lavish exposition. Um, since we're going to be fighting a very, very intensive war here. Ah, uh, let me guess, that's Ukraine. Let me guess, that's my good friends, uh, of, uh, Russia. Yep, it's good friends, Russia. Okay, Russia, post peace, you guys get this. There we go. Yeah, I kind of knew that was going to happen eventually, that Russia might do that. Hopefully it's not something weird that they took. Okay, that doesn't, you know what, that's actually fine. If they just want to take that land back, that is completely cool with me. It looked kind of weird for having Ukraine having just this random part of Russia, but I really cannot have Ukraine... I, I really can't have Ukraine be distracted. They must be fighting only Germany. Okay, only our German brethren. And Greece is basically going to clean up all of Albania, so we don't have to worry about that. But again, the big threat we are going to have to worry about is the Germans. And as it seems, the Germans are following my plan just correctly. They are directly destroying almost all resistance over here. Uh, in fact, I probably won't need this map on for very long because it's going to be a very annoying map if we see it like that. Okay, let's just continue though. Let's see, most of my soldiers have already moved in. Um, actually, if we take this right here, then go right there, we basically have another moving in spot. Okay, I'm being, sorry guys, if you notice, I'm being very cautious with my moving in because the Germans do have a large military and they could strike at any moment. And their, their counter-strike, while we still have the advantage right now, their counter-strike is going to be insane. So I'm just preparing my soldiers and preparing my mind for this. Right, let's move right here. We could probably get a good attack right there going. Oh, there it is. There it is. Our first battle. Our first battle. Okay, okay. Let's see. Do we have enough reserve men? We have 105. Go send them over there to the front lines. Just like, 105 men, send you to the front lines. I don't even know what they are, but they're sending to the front lines. Um, yeah, Ukraine's sending in all their men, which is good. They should still have a decent amount. I don't believe that taking this province away from them should weaken them that much. Oh my goodness, the Germans are just crushing through France. Again, as I said, this is what I predicted. I, I'm not completely shocked at this, at this uh, predicament, but... Gosh dang it, France, you, you just like prove everything right about you. Okay, you guys are taking complete advantage of the fact that the Germans cannot attack you right now. Good job, I love that my vassals were being smart. Okay, but let's get back to over here. Actually, we have three more days until these guys are already... No, we can do it right now, yes! Okay, so now we got less than 45 relations, so that means we can start doing the Casas Belli in how many turns? Uh, 9th of April. So the 9th of April, remember that date, everyone. So that's going to be very important. Okay, now the Germans are starting to strike back pretty fierce, pretty, pretty fiercely, pretty fiercely. Um, I'm not trying to engage up. Okay, you guys, don't stupidly do that. Okay, do this smartly. Don't you dare attack situations where they might come in at you. Where are they? Are they purposely trying to, like, attack one of my men? Because that'd be really mean. Alright, we have 103 men moving in. Just go reinforce that line. We have another couple men right there. Alright, let's see. Get our... Can we use this stack? Yeah, we could probably use this stack to go break that 61 up. Because right now I do have better defenses. For now, though. I don't know how much longer we'll be able to do this. Because Germany is Germany. And they like to be Germany. That is a very, very good statement right there. Okay, it seems like we're taxing... We could probably tear off these guys to almost no return. Although, I don't really need the money, so it's like, why would I need the money? 
because you might yeah why would I need the money that is a good question okay it seems like you uh, just as you okay they're doing pretty good okay I can now start getting my class better against South Africa never thought I would be attacking another African nation in my life at least at this point in the game eight nine wait give it nine uh, okay somehow the Germans got past my line okay that's kind of cheap Germany I'm just gonna say that now that's really cheap okay just just saying uh, you guys should be completely weakened from the fact that I took you guys down the first time, so it should be really easy to take you down again. Um, now let's see, South Africa, we're gonna justify a war. We have diplomats on the route, it's supposed to be the ninth. Oh, I have to wait one more day. There we go. Okay. South Africa. What? Oh, you got my relationships up just in time. You. Ah. Okay, now you can't get my relationships up, because there's no way 15% relations will be able to get me up. The 24th of April. Okay. Back to over here, though. Um, we just finished up a siege right there. I'm going to move in my soldiers over here. These guys should be able to hold off here. These guys are winning. These guys are winning. Don't know if I should send soldiers over there. I probably will have to. Ukraine's moving in and industrializing all their soldiers, hopefully. I, I really don't know. This might might come down to a quick contest. Yeah, you guys are going to lose for a while until you, guys, until you guys actually decide to take this war seriously. Once they decide to take this war seriously, then we'll probably start winning, but yeah, they're gonna they're probably not gonna send in any of their good troops. France at least is not gonna send in any of their good troops for a while now. Over here though, we're gonna have to get all these like backhanded troops out of my land. I don't like this. I don't like all the attention they're giving me right now. It's not the quite quite the attention I wanted. And let's see, we're moving in right here, destroying this time. These guys are gonna die like crazy. Like seriously. They're in a no win predicament. Um, it looks like the Ukrainians are not sending in their full force, which is kind of idiotic. Uh, yeah, kind of idiotic in my opinion. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go move in these two armies to try to go destroy all these, like, backhanded Germans that keep moving into my land behind me. It doesn't, I think just due to numbers, we're gonna win this pretty handily. Okay, let's get this. There we go. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Win, yes, okay. Next, go right here, destroy these guys at the really powerful base, the Dunsink. These guys are being idiots. Okay, France actually has a decent army right there. I don't know why they are not moved in yet. Um, we do have a couple of good Polish armies moving in. Yeah, all the, the Spanish still have to get their stuff all together, but I think once that battle breaks right here, a whole bunch of men will just flood to the front team and we'll be able to start driving them back. Uh, the Germans just keep taking advantage of the fact I have backwards alleys. I'm going to go send these guys over here to go help this army, because that army looks like it's about to get crushed. Um, and let's see, I believe now we have enough to go and... Yes! Okay. You know what? We're going to make you guys our puppet. <laughs> I don't know why I want to do this, but I just want to do this. So, we're going to make South Africa our puppet. Uh, okay, that, that's going to be our war goal. But South Africa has become our puppet, and then we will officially give up the war. Let's see, over here, it seems like most of the battles are being won. These guys are holding pretty strong. These guys are definitely holding pretty strong. We probably can actually move out some of our men from over here. Over here, though, we're having a little bit of difficulties. Seems like Ukraine isn't doing quite as much as I hoped they would do. They seem to be kind of being, you know, wusses in terms of the whole fighting style. Over here, we're going to be moving into a major battle here. Mm, let's see. Has the... They seem to be... Oh my goodness, it's 140... Oh. <laughs> I thought there was 141 Ukrainians. I was like, what the heck? Why are they all in France? Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Um, I don't want to move this army out of position yet because then I'll make a whole flood of more Germans come into the lines. Uh, I can't move. I can't really move up the lines though right now because I'm still dealing with these Germans over here. Let's see. Okay. I believe if I move in right here and right there, I'll have a safe spot. There'll be no holes I'll open up in my military. There we go. Now that I opened up right there, they're already wanting peace. That is not good. We just began the war. Okay. Let's see. We already, yeah, we basically won the war already. So it's time to do what I wanted to do, which is dismantle the German nation. Booyah. Now that I added this in, we're going to have a way, way harder start because now what's going to happen is most likely we're going to have the, uh, our Occitanians join in, which is going to kill us. I guarantee this is going to be a tough battle from here on out. Once the Occitanians join in in this, 
Oh my goodness, dude. Come on, friends, get control of your land already. Seriously, like, seriously, get control of your land. Gosh dang it, friends. Okay, over here, we have a definite war going on. I'm going to have to retreat some of my men to just go crush this army right here, because I do believe we might lose this, so I need to kind of make sure we win that, that whole battle right there. Yeah, and it seems like Ukraine and Bulgaria are helping us out. Ukraine's starting to send in more troops. That's good. Um, let's see. We have more troops grouping up right here. The newly recruited troops are grouping up. Have a good line right there. The only gap we have is right there in our military. But I can instantly cover that up if I go right here. Go send in some of my recruited men to go, like, block that up quickly. Quickly, guys. Go block that up. Thank you. Okay, good. Okay, and now you guys... Seems like the Germans made it hightailing out of there. Okay, then, so let's move right there. We could... Let's see, is there anything over here we need to kind of dress? I think these guys are going to win, so I don't have to get too much. These guys could just stay right there. You guys could just stay right there. Okay, uh, Germany... Hmm. You know, just for lulls, we could probably... We could probably go send an army to go help these guys. Because, like, it's just for lulls, and... This this many troops down here will probably crush this army pretty quickly. We have a battle somehow happening. Uh, me and France's navy have just been crushing through everything. France is still annoying me with the fact that it's still not quite realizing the danger it poses for not industrializing yet. Okay, it's really kind of aggravating. I'm not even going to deny to you people. It's really kind of aggravating. Okay, somehow the Germans just got completely in the backseat of my lot of my lines and just like it's trying to receive back all this stuff Kind of annoying to tell you the truth. Okay, and it looks like there's three different hmm. Don't want to do that. Okay, 78. There's a 78 army right there. I need to probably go send in a good 106. Haven't built up 106 uh, Infantry yet. We got some soldiers right here. Let's see, let's go start crushing through a lot of this land and start trying to take back all this. We can't really move up over here until, like, mm, until, the, until the French start pushing back a little bit more, we can't really move up anymore over here. So we're just going to probably keep that soldier right there until we can move up a little bit more. The Germans over here are now starting to crush in hard, probably because all the troops are starting to be made. Yeah, now we're getting a major German onslaught. Now I can build ships faster, too! Hooray! Okay, that is actually really exciting, because now we get more faster ships, and now we can get more integrated stuff. So, oh my goodness, that is the saddest sight I've ever seen. Okay, okay, no, no, you guys will stay right there. Once I have an opportunity, I'm going to go send you guys back to the 29 stack to make sure that we can defend it. Okay, next go down to the 29 stack. Uh, you guys go right here to the 31 stack, make sure that we kind of... Actually, break up the army into two, because I'm pretty sure it, just half of that army will be able to turn the tide of that battle. Okay, I'm pretty sure, like, I'm pretty sure, okay. Over here, we're having a couple different ger backhanded Germans coming in. Germany's really crushing on over here, so I may have to go send in some troops to go help that out. Seriously, I didn't think I would have to, but apparently I will have to. That's kind of a little bit annoying. I'm going to go send some troops right here to go help crush these guys. These are advanced soldiers, so this should be able to create a great shock right there in the German line. Um, over here, I can't really move in anymore because my rest of my line hasn't moved up. Let's see. Over here, this line's basically kind of freeish, kind of destroyed. It's, it's a little bit in between. I mean, I can't really tell. Um, Germans are basically being halted right here, which is what I love. The Ukrainians are doing their job excellent. Um... You guys are being, you guys are setting, sending your troops to the wrong fighting point, but okay, you guys can fight over there. Germany definitely, definitely spread out their troops a lot, like they're, I really don't know what their strategy is. Let's just put it like that, I really don't know. They have troops over there, they have troops over there, they have troops over there. I really don't know where they're going with all these troops. They're just kind of everywhere, and I don't know what to do with them. Okay, um... Let's see, with this, uh, we have a little bit of a breach right here. Maybe, actually, if that troops stay right there, I could probably move in right there, create a new line, a new line of troops. Ooh, the, the Spanish have crushed through, yes! Okay, so the, the Espanol, Espanol has basically crushed through the uh, German lines over here, and basically we might actually be able to like create a gigantic pocket of just Germans. 
Oh my goodness, this might be awesome. We might be able to end this world even quicker than I thought. Dang, okay, okay, okay. So, but we have to main diligent, because we do have a lot of Germans running rampant in my country, which, if I was me, I, I would feel not very safe right about now. Not very safe at all. Okay, we got these guys moving in. Okay. Let's see, micromanaging. Argentina wants an alliance. Sure, Argentina. I forgot, why did we never... Are you guys in my sphere? Yes, you guys are in my sphere. Why do we not have an alliance? Hey, Argentina, you guys are going to be called in. Because, why not? You guys could join the war we're already in. I mean, it's not really that big of a war, but it's a war nonetheless. Germany, you already offering peace? Wow. Uh, this force dismantle empire. Okay. Germany is already offering peace, which is a good sign for us. But then again, I don't want Germany to just be destroyed by this. I want to make sure that when we dis we get these guys, we want to make sure that they're completely down for the count. Okay, so let's see. Are there any uh, nations that we can release that would severely hurt them? Uh, Lithuania? No, probably not. Stola, Lundi, Lomji, Kumba, Kaini, Pomerania, Poles, and Elsis. Elsis might hurt it, but no, that's not enough. Rwanda, Shona, Sudan, Wolf, Zamba, Scandinavia, Lithuania, Zanzibar. None of these guys really would hurt them. Hmm. Alright, then release puppet, Occitania. There we go. Alright. Yeah, release your puppet, Occitania. We need to make sure that that's in the deal just to make sure that if we ever want to declare war on you guys again, this does not happen, okay? We want to make sure that when we fight, you guys don't get instant access to Occitania. Okay, because that's so BS. That is so BS, and you know it. You so know that. You so know that's so BS. Okay, it looks like... Wow, I think these... I think my African my African army basically crushed through all of Germany. Oh, I love you guys. You guys are second day power? What? Okay, that's kind of scary. Who's eighth right now? Oh my goodness, there's only like a hundred difference. Oh, shoot. Um... That ain't good. Um, that is not good right there. I, I will actually no. It is pretty good because then I could actually see an African power in this game. <gasps> my dream is coming true, guys! Oh my goodness, my dream is gonna come true. Okay, that's gonna be so awesome. But for right now, we still have a war to fight. Okay, Germany is losing a lot, which is good. But then again, I'm also having to deal with a lot of troops that just keep moving through my land randomly. I keep getting all these random pocketed troops, which I'm getting kind of annoyed by. Uh, France is starting to crush through their lines a little bit more. Wait, would they accept a peace deal right now so we could just end this? Probably not, because we still have to fight through a little bit more. Um, I don't believe I can move up in this army anymore until I like crush through these guys, crush through these guys, and crush through these guys. Uh, yes. Okay, and then, if you guys are going to try to finish these guys off, you guys are going to try to finish these guys off. You guys... Just an army going to try to go destroy these guys on both sides. Two armies should be able to make a difference in this. Yeah, it should make a big difference. Okay, there's a couple good armies. Digital power, art maintenance. You guys move down here. Let's see. You guys are actually being attacked by a decent sized force. Do I have a makeshift army yet? Yes. You guys, go up here. Go protect these guys. Uh, I guess I'll have these guys go clean up the rest of what's happening over here. Um, Germany just somehow moved in a lot of troops right here behind me without me noticing. Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Where are you guys moving? Hey, no, no, no. Stop moving in so much. You guys are moving in way too much for me to protect to protect the land. Okay, let's see. If I moved in right there, moved in right there, moved in right there. We have one, two, three. <sighs> okay, if I was to keep... If I would need to take this, I would need one, two, three. I'd need three more armies right there to make sure I could take it without having more uh, Germans move in. So no, cancel our move-in plans. We basically took all of Lower Bavaria, though. I do admit that, but we just don't have enough yet to quite do what we want to. Germany, would you guys be willing to just peace out now? Because this would be an awesome if I could end this war in just if I could end this war in just one episode. Come on, come on. When you guys July fifth. July 5th, July 6th, okay, Germany, would you guys accept my deal? They would not accept my offer, okay, 
Well, that's fine, Germany. That's fine. That's that's completely cool. I can fight you all the way to the to the gates of Berlin. I have no problem with that. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.